Hi there, this is Niels for New Relic, and today we're going to be exploring how you can reduce error noise using New Relic Mobile and New Relic Insights. To do this, we'll be using the Mobile Request Error Event, available to customers using New Relic Mobile Enterprise tier on the Android or iOS Agent SDKs version 5.14 or greater. We'll start first by looking at the mobile request error event a little closer. We'll go through some basic queries, including showing you how to facet using the error type attribute available on the event. The error type attribute can be one of two values, either network failures or HTTP errors. Let's take a closer look. Let's start by heading over to New Relic Insights. Once here, we'll start with some basic queries, counting the number of request errors that we've had from our mobile applications over the last three days. Here we can see that we've had nearly 3,000 errors over the last three days. If we add a time series clause, with a one hour increment, we can see what this looks like by hour over that time period. We can change the increment to one day if we're interested in an overall trend for each day. We can additionally facet this by the error type. Again, we can time series this data and change to a stack chart to see the relative difference in volume between both error types over this time period. Now let's move over to looking at how we would filter out particularly noisy endpoints or a set of endpoints using both the request domain attribute and the request URL attributes available on the mobile request error. To begin, let's simply facet our last query by request domain. In this case, we can see that the Amazon AWS URL at the top is our noisiest domain endpoint. If we take this URL, copy it, then add a WHERE clause into our query for the request domain attribute and say it does not equal this domain, we can remove this from our result set. Let's say, however, we're interested in filtering out a specific URL underneath this domain. In this case, we'll change the operator from not equal to to equal to, then facet by request URL to see the various permutations of URLs that fall underneath it. Now let's say that we'd like to filter out any of the URLs that have the directory plans underneath it. To filter out these URLs, we'll start by changing our request domain attribute to a request URL attribute, then copying an example URL from our list below. We'll also change our operator from an equals to a not like operator, which will allow us to leverage wildcards, pasting in our example URL and replacing the version number with a wildcard so that we could capture, for example, version 2.3 and capping our URL with another wildcard to catch any children that fall underneath it. This approach can be used for other attributes, for example, the status code attribute. Let's start with a basic facet by status code to see what types of errors are being generated. In this circumstance, let's say we're not interested in looking at any errors that result in a 403 status code. Again, we change our facet clause to a where clause using a not equals operator, faceting again by status code, and we can see the 403 errors have been removed from our result set. In addition to doing this type of iterative analysis, any one of these charts can in turn be added to a dashboard for future use, or you can even use these queries to create highly targeted alerts using what's known as NERCL alerts, which we'll explore in another video. This concludes our demonstration of how you can reduce error noise using New Relic Mobile Agent Data and New Relic Insights. I hope you found this video helpful, and as always, happy troubleshooting.